All right, it is Wednesday, January 20th, 2021, 10.47 p.m. I'm going to trade this micellar water with my stepmom because uh, this one actually irritates my eyes. Uh, this is the Avent, hold on, the Avent um, uh, Biphase Hyaluronic Acid Rejuvenating Micellar Water. Uh, I've used it a couple of times and my eyes have been drying out over a course of the times that I've been using this. So I kind of connected the dots. So she's going to give me her Garnier Skin Active All-in-One Waterproof one. She doesn't use it hardly at all. It's almost brand new. There's like a little bit missing out of it. Maybe a quarter of the bottle missing out of it. So I'm going to trade with her. And um, I'm not bashing this brand because this is heavily scented. I think that's why it's irritating my eyes. I need to use it around my eyes to remove waterproof makeup and all that stuff because I do wear uh, waterproof eyeliner and stuff like that and I just can't have that doing that to me. It's been doing that since I got it. So I'm trading this with, with my mom. So you won't see this again in my videos unless I had to borrow one of hers. She has a NYX one as well. Um, she doesn't use makeup remover water. I don't even know why she has any at all really, but she doesn't. Anyway, um, it's now 10.48 p.m. According to my handy digital clock. It's really handy having that over there now. I never thought it would be handy to have a clock in here, but it is. Um, sorry, I keep wiping that off. Anyway, I'm going to go give it to her. And I'm going to get the other one. All right. Um, see you in my other part of the video or in my next one. It's not 10.49 p.m. All right, bye. Okay, we just traded, clearly. It's 10.52 p.m. Um, if it bothers her, she said she's just gonna throw it away. Um, yeah, I have a ha half bottle of the big one like this, but I will still use this one too. I might actually take the lid off this one and dump this into my big bottle because this is actually a lot more gone than I thought it was. But um, this is the standard size bottle for anyone who's looking for a micellar water that's good. This is a really good one, I think anyways, a good budget one. Um, they have all different types. The blue cap is just for removing uh, waterproof stuff. That's why I buy it because I use waterproof products almost every single day. And uh, for 13 and a half fluid ounces, you get, uh, you pay $6.00. And like 78 cents and you get 13 and a half fluid ounces of product. And all you have to do is shake it up. Uh, make sure you shake it up before each use and it will become nice and bubbly. The NYX one is pretty good too. It's like $8 a bottle. Um, I have a NYX one over there. Don't know why I kept tapping that. I want to make it clear. I like the waterproof stuff because I'm um, oily skinned. Sorry about the shaking, but yeah. This is pretty good stuff. If you live on a... Oops. If you live on a budget... I don't know why I expect it to stand on a mattress, but if you live on a budget, this is really good stuff. Um, and yeah, it says no harsh rubbing, no rinse, and facelifts and eyes. So yeah, this is uh, all skin types, even sensitive like me, no oil, alcohol, or fragrance, which is good. And it is dermatologist tested. Um, I trust Garnier for a long time because when I was a kid, my family had Garnier uh, shampoo and conditioner. Let me take it off the bed so it doesn't leak. But yeah, anyway, I have the big one still and I'm going to pour this into there probably or I'm just going to use this one till it's gone and then continue using the big one because this is uh I think this is older than mine actually I think I got mine back in September or August and my stepmom got hers in June or July so yeah I don't think these have expiration dates on them I could be wrong just in case I don't know what any of those numbers mean I know that's a barcode obviously duh But yeah, um, this stuff is really good. 
Highly recommend it to anyone out there, even if you are a professional makeup artist. I just probably gave you a way to remove the makeup. All right, it is now 10.55 p.m. Um, please subscribe if you're new. I'm trying to reach a goal of 1,000 subscribers before the end of March or May. Let's just say between March and May. Um, I'm up to 53 subscribers already. Uh, that means I reached my limit for the month. And... Yeah, I'm, I'm actually starting to get excited about this. I want to learn how to edit and everything. I, ch I uh, learned how to put words in the videos with an app called Vaunt. And I really want to uh, learn how to do a lot of different things in my videos like professional bloggers do and professional makeup artists because I really think that this would be fun to do. Everyone says, everyone has different opinions on it. I look at it like, I sit here and do the same thing every day. Sometimes I change it up, okay? Like I mailed a letter to the Netherlands today. That's not really exciting. It's literally just going to the post office and asking for a stamp that costs like 75 cents more than the one that you would buy for America or whatever country you live in. Um, so I bought one to bring home too. So if I decided to do it again this month, I wouldn't have to go to the post office again just to hand them the letter and say, please get this to the Netherlands. Anyway, it is now 10.57 p.m. Like I said, if you're new, please subscribe. I'm trying to reach a so, subscriber count of uh, 1,000, and then the numbers will keep climbing. Thank you. Peace and goodbye.